I'm Sarah, another researcher here at TEI. I happen to think that the great apes are super cool. So on this episode of Oh Behave, we're gonna look at intelligence and orangutans. A group of scientists from the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology investigated how orangutans use their offspring as tools to achieve goals. The orangs here weren't using a physical tool, like we use a fork to eat our food, or chimpanzees use a stick to collect termites. Instead, they were using a social tool, their kids, to gain access to a food reward. Social tool use happens all the time in human society and is important in social interactions, like cooperation. Have you ever convinced a younger sibling to reach their tiny hands into a vending machine and grab a trapped candy bar? For the orangutans, the scientists designed several experiments to see how the mothers use their children to gain a food reward. They tested three Sumatran orangutan mother-offspring pairs at Leipzig Zoo in Germany. These orangs live in a semi-natural, outdoor and indoor exhibit. But for these studies, they were temporarily put into a special testing area to control for outside influences. Let's take a look at the experiments the scientists conducted. In each one, the mother had to manipulate her child in a different way to succeed. Experiment one. Will the mother use their child as a tool when they have complete physical control over the body? Here we have a small hole with the orangutan's favorite treat on the other side. Grapes! The mother orangutan's hands are too big to fit through the hole, but their kid's hands are just the right size. When the grape moves close enough, she is able to grab it herself, literally enjoying the fruits of her son's labor. Experiment two. Would the mother use their child as a social tool to get access to a physical tool, a plastic bar, that they could then use to get a food reward. The mother here influenced her child's decision by dragging her towards the tool door. I'm sure many of you can relate to a parent influencing your decisions with gentle encouragement. The scientists saw that the mothers had to directly control their child's behavior up until the point that she successfully obtained the tool. The third and final experiment. Can the mother use their offspring as a social tool even when they don't have direct control over their child. This involved quite a setup. In this clip, you can see the mother on the left side and the young orangutan in the middle room. First, you see her pass her son the plastic bar, and then he is able to travel into the other room and use it as a tool. Once he inserts the tool into the tube, both orangutans are able to get access to the food. Through some inventive experimental designs, the scientists were able to demonstrate that the mothers all could manipulate their children in diverse situations to achieve their goals. This social tool use could be thought of as proto-cooperation because it involves social decision-making, but one individual has more power or control than the other. Human cooperation may be a bit more complex than this, and that there may be more variation in whether social interactions are altruistic or selfish. Either way, it's interesting to see how the similarities between humans and orangutans emerge in these social situations. From a conservation perspective, the orangutans used in this study are ambassadors for the wild ones living in the forests of Sumatra and Borneo. These species are critically endangered, and human activities are further jeopardizing their survival. If you think these apes are as cool as we do, we encourage you to make informed decisions about the products you buy. The palm oil industry is destroying a lot of the forests that these orangutans inhabit. So it is important that we use sustainably sourced palm oil to minimize the effect that our snacks, cosmetics, and detergents have on this amazing animal. For more information about sustainable palm oil, check out our description, and please subscribe to our channel below. And remember, behave yourselves.